Welcome back. Well, a one-man show is coming to Vancouver's East Vancouver Cultural Center later this week, and you don't want to miss it. It's called Basic Training, starring Khalil Ashanti. And Khalil joins us now. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. So it's about your time at, at, in the United States Air Force. That's right. I joined the Air Force to escape an abused childhood, um, thinking I was going to just leave that life behind and, and start all over. Uh, and the night before I left to join the military, I found out that the guy who had abused me my whole life wasn't my real dad. And my mom swears she told me before. She said, I probably just forgot. And you were what, 18, 19? How yeah, old were you I was 18. I, I was literally 10 days after graduating high school. So the day before you leave to go into training that will change your life, you learn something that already changes your life. Completely shattered everything that I, that I knew about myself. And, you know, despite the, the severe abuse, I still wanted to make my dad proud. Yeah. I wanted, to, he was a military man and the Air Force is the hardest to get into. So I thought I was impressing him by leaving. And then the night before I left, my mom goes, oh, by the way, you don't need him. <laughs> Amazing. So how does a guy who joins the military become a, a comedian and an actor and a performer? Gosh, uh, it's called having dreams. Um, <laughs> the military gives you a job that they think meets military needs the best. My job was as a mailman. Right. And I had done stand-up comedy as a teenager, you know, done some, you know, seen some Richard Pryor videos and Eddie Murphy movies. And, yeah. But when I joined the military and, and was made a mailman, I found out about a group called Tops in Blue which is an active duty, all, you know, uh, all active duty military performance troupe. And, uh, and I auditioned for Tops in Blue as a comedian and as a dancer. It's a worldwide competition, the best of the best in the military, and they only pick 30 people each year. And you're one and of them. And my job in the Air Force was touring the world, performing for the troops on the front lines. And you performed for over a million people, I understand. Yeah, absolutely. I did quite a few world tours. Okay. Well, yeah. the basic training has won, and we'll talk about this in a second, yeah. so many accolades, but let's just take a look at a little bit of it. <laughs> Okay, so this is part of, of your one man stage, but it's not all performing. There, a lot of it is acting and acting. So tell That's us what right. it's about. Uh, the show is about myself um, leaving the military sorry, leaving home mm -hmm. to join the military and start anew, only to meet these characters that became an inspiration to me and led me to meet my real dad by accident wow. while I was touring with Tops and Blue. Now, I understand, like I said, this this is one a lot of accolades. Chris Galis was telling me you actually performed it off-Broadway in New York two days before 9-11, and That's it was voted one of the most promising shows of the decade? That's right, that's right. It's a New York Times critics pick. Yeah. And uh, I performed, it was actually 2008 when I did the off-Broadway run right. at the Barrel Street Theater. Right, uh, Won a whole slew of awards, Broadway Drama League, uh, Distinguished Award nomination. I mean, James Gandolfini and Susan Sarandon and Jeffrey Rush were the other nominees that year. Wow, And it, that's it's the only It's the only major award in the Tony Awards season that yeah. the audience votes for. So that it so just really amazing. meant a lot. So now you are only coming for three days, and you said That's this right. is actually a special performance because why? Tell us why. That's correct. The, the last time I played at the Colch, uh, I did a week, but this time I'm only doing three shows because I'm traveling to Bungoma, Kenya, in support of Hope for the Nations. Yeah. Um, to to use my storytelling workshops to work with there they are, work with some of these kids, and to inspire them to tell their stories to the world using the power of theater and character technique. I play over 23 characters in my show with no costume changes, no yeah, props. It's none. just one hour long. And I, I wasn't a kid who grew up in the theater. I couldn't afford to learn these techniques. So I'm going to hopefully work with these kids and empower them to tell their own stories and so inspire th generations So to these come. three shows are going to help you raise the money to do uh, that? That's right. Oh, Khalil, did you ever find your dad, your biological father? I did, yeah. I met him in 2004. Wow. And the ending of the show, I don't want to give it away, okay, but don't the give ending it away. of the show... Uh, it, it, talks it, about it, that. it talks about that, oh. and uh, I'm a dad myself now. So. Congratulations. What nice. a pleasure to meet you. Thank uh, you. An absolute pleasure.